So um, again, looking on this one for the cosecant of negative t, um, again, we need to understand, well, this is an odd function. So this cosecant of negative t is equal to the negative cosecant of t. Right? So if sine of t is 1 third, then therefore I know that this is going to equal um, the cosecant of negative third. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, one thing else we need to know about sine of t, or sorry, cosecant of t. Remember we talked about the cosecant of t. If uh, let's call let's call cosecant of theta equals one over y, right? Because the sine of theta equals y, right? These two angles, these two functions are reciprocals of each other. So Therefore, if this is 1 third, I need to not only take the negative value of it, because we know it's going to be now be multiplied by negative, but to relate it to the sine of negative t is now going to be the reciprocal, which would be a negative 3. So you've got to take the reciprocal, because we're going back rigidly, because we're comparing our sine to our cosecant. And then we have to use, since they're odd functions, they're going to be the opposite sign as well.